Hi guys, it's Katie with Awesome Cast, and today we are at Alpha Lab Gear talking to a few new companies. Right now I'm sitting with Leah from Life Shell. Hi Leah, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you. I heard you guys had a pretty exciting day yesterday. We did, we really did. We, um, one of our members, Jay On Wang, our CEO, actually got to pose a question for President Barack Obama whenever he visited Tech Shop here in Pittsburgh. How cool. Were you guys nervous going into this? Um, we kind of knew what to expect. It was up in the air whether we'd get the chance to actually approach President Obama with our product and what we're all about, but um, I think Jayon handled the situation fantastically and really got our product out there and got us on his radar. That is, that is so cool and it's so exciting to have the President you know, in Pittsburgh and talking to our companies and we're such a lucky community. What, what's so special about Pittsburgh, do you think? I think Pittsburgh has a really great growing environment, whether it's through technology and the growing entrepreneurship here. I think it's really going to be a catalyst in the future for young entrepreneurs like ourselves. Um, I think the technology is great here, especially with all the colleges and all the young professionals here. And I think people are really coming back to invest in the talent that they have here. And I think that just makes it so great. There's culture, there's tradition, and I think a lot of people are really invested in what Pittsburgh has going on right now. Now most of your company, are you guys from the Pittsburgh area? Um, actually, none of us are from Pittsburgh originally. Mm -hmm. um, the three founders were all CMU um, graduates and actually knew each other from freshman year of college. And I also went to Carnegie Mellon and so has, I think, all of our team members as well. So, oh, wow. Yeah, so we're all Carnegie Mellon born and bred. Um, but yeah, no one from Pittsburgh originally though. Mm -hmm. that's, that's so neat. Um, one of the, the unique things about Pittsburgh, and you said the culture, is we do have our own kind of world here, and we have our own kind of melting pot of things that you can do within the city. Uh, was it a big, was it a difference coming to the city when you came to CMU? Was it um, as far as what we had to offer from where you're originally from? Or I'm from a small town in Pennsylvania, so yes, in a sense. I think some of our teammates came from different cities across the U.S., but um, it's interesting coming to Pittsburgh because there's so much to offer and at Carnegie Mellon sometimes you find yourself in your little bubble mm -hmm. but I think this year especially um, being able to explore the technology side of Pittsburgh and lots of the different neighborhoods that are really growing and thriving here has been exciting and you always figure out that there's something more going on here. As your, your founders and your CEOs, uh, what's, how did this idea come about? How did that everybody get together and think about this? I think by attending a 21st century university, you know, we're all in college and we all realize that sexual assault really is a problem and it's not going away. Yes, there's education and there's awareness in the United States right now, but there's really no active deterrent. And I think that's with some brainstorming realization, we know that there needed to be something like that out there. And there's people and members on our teams who've had personal experience with sexual assault. And, you know, it's a very personal situation that I think is a global issue right now. Um, Pre President Barack Obama has brought it to the forefront recently. And I think with him raising national awareness, we all realize that it's not going away and we need to be part of that solution right now. Yeah, that's one of the, the cooler things I think about your company is you're taking a proactive stance to stop these things from occurring and, and to take care of an, an individual produ protection. And I've actually, I've played with your demos. It's, it's, it, we had another event where we had played with your demos and they're actually something where you could use them and I don't feel, I know with Mason things, I feel uncomfortable carrying this. This is obviously what I'm carrying and I, this is clumsy and I have to do this, but your cases are so streamlined and so not, I don't want to say hidden, but almost to the point where it's not like you look like you're looking for trouble. This is something you kind of have to yourself. Um, was that an important part of the design process or something? Yeah, so definitely a lot went into the design process. We wanted something that in a sense could be um, recognizable. When you saw it, we always say it's similar to whenever you see an ADT sign in a yard. You want to, you want people to know that you are protected, you know, so maybe they will think twice about um, sexual assault in a situation, but we also wanted something that was easy to maneuver, easy to handle, um, and something that was there right when you needed it, and something that you're not, that's not too bulky, and has all its capabilities right there in one. So I guess a lot was tied into the design, you know, you were thinking from the software side of things and the hardware, and really trying to make it user friendly, mm -hmm. because with products like these, you really need to address a large scale population. You know, we were talking the other day, there's the military, there's runners, there's college students, there's your normal 
everyday human being and everybody wants to be protected so how can we cater this best to all sorts of populations and I really think that we're doing that here at Life Shell. Um, when you're working at, uh, what's your experience like working with Alpha Lab Gear? What's, what have they provided for you? I think for the founders especially, it's been a lot of mentorship and a lot of personal growth this year. So many opportunities, whether it's through networking and just the environment here is amazing. There's so many young entrepreneurs and you know that going, for, going around from one company to another, you never know um, what kind of connection you can make and what kind of advice, information, the other young entrepreneurs here that they can give you. There's a lot of people who have been in our shoes before and I just think any advice that they have is valuable as we kind of move steps forward on this journey this year. Life Show is part of Demo Day. Did you notice a reaction and then any sort of um, feedback from that? We've definitely had a lot of positive feedback since Demo Day and I think right now we're just really riding on the positive feedback, the connections and networking we made there and um, carrying that through especially through yesterday's meeting with President Obama. You know, that was a great opportunity for some further networking and really getting our name out there. So I think we're just really revving up for some beta testing with different folk and we've had some different focus groups. So I think we're just um, progressing towards the next step right now, which is um, we're focusing right now on our beta testing. When does that start? So we have a couple um, groups that we're going to be focusing on this fall and late summer here. So beta testing in the fall and then by summer 2015 we hope to have our first line of products out there um, to really target the incoming college class at that point. So what's next step for Life Shell? I think right now we're focusing primarily on getting our products into people's hands as soon as possible. Um, we're going to be having a Kickstarter that's actually starting at the end of the summer here um, as an opportunity to hopefully raise awareness and get some funds to help us progress to the next stage. Um, and then hopefully developing our products further, um, always focusing on keeping people safe and keeping people at the center of our focus here at Life Shell. What kind of snacks did your group enjoy? Oh, everything. <laughs> what kind of snacks don't we enjoy? <laughs>